Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we are doing a version 2 tutorial having to do with GUIs, and by far the easiest way to do GUIs. So, as of right now, I have this pulled up. This is the Smart GUI Creator. I've done videos on there, but this is version 1 code that it spits out for you. Uh, it's a little kind of, you know, compared to what I'm about to show you, it's a lot simpler, less functionality, you know, it's a little outdated looking. It's still a great tool, though, if you need to make a GUI very easily. Uh, but we're not going to be talking about that. I just wanted to show you this, so you, in case you recall what this is, you'll know what the next thing is a lot better. So, there is actually a version 2. Oh, got my antivirus popping up for some reason. So this comes from, I did a video actually recently, and you guys loved it. I mean, it blew up. This guy, I mean, makes some wonderful stuff. So I wanted to do another one. So shout out to Sam Fisher, IRL. Um, and he basically made, and he calls it Easy Auto GUI, and it's for version 2. So this is huge. I mean, he's making some big strides with version 2 stuff that nobody's, even like remotely came close to doing with this kind of stuff so i mean this is very impressive uh, it looks like maybe it was updated uh the readme was updated two weeks ago at the filming of this video but with the actual code it looks like two months ago so it looks like he's still pretty active with this project uh, so yeah so there's you know some pretty basic stuff here on how to use it some example gifs that you can look at but we're actually going to show it to you. So we need to download this. So we're going to go to code. We're going to push download zip. At least that's how I do it. Do it however you want. Go ahead and download it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to push cancel. But once it is downloaded, you're going to have the zip file. You can right click it. Once again, however you do it, whatever program, push extract here, extract files, open with WinWar or whatever. If you got like seven zip or something, and then we're going to be left with the actual folder. We're going to open the folder. We are going to go to this one that says launch auto GUI. And as you'll see, it is the auto hotkey script here. And it has the H icon. So that is the one we want. You can obviously read the readme and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead, launch that. You get this little pop up, which uh, auto disappears after a few seconds. And let me resize this to fit in the video a little better. So we can see. Give me one second, and while I'm doing that, don't forget to subscribe. I'm throwing out one, two videos every week with automation, usually in auto hotkeys, but we do branch out from time to time so you can explore options. There we go. That looks a lot better. And that like button if you want to see more videos on this specific topic. Let's me know what you guys like, and I can do more. So if usually if I hit 30 likes, I'll do a follow-up video. Alright, so it's kind of the same thing in a sense but you know this is very nice looking i mean this looks really nice and it has a lot more going on because here you can actually see the code and the great thing is this code is live in the old version of the smart gui creator version for version one ahk the code you only get when you go to like file and say like you know copy to clipboard or whatever uh, where this is live, you can see the changes being made, and we can see it's already in version 2. You know, it says for version 2 here. He has his links and stuff for that. He also has, like, the HKV2 converter, uh, an auto GUI creator. I'm not sure what the difference are between that. I'll have to check that out, actually. So here's our GUI. Now watch this. Right here where we have our show command, we have our width and our height. So we'll just look at the height. It's 420. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make this smaller. And as soon as I let go, boom, those numbers just updated. Now the height is 182. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty cool. It changes very easily. And you can move this wherever you want. You know, if you want to see the code, um, you can. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at our control types. Um, pretty much has a lot of the same stuff that the version 1 custom or uh, smart GUI creator has. Um, I did notice there are a few extra options that aren't available in that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're just going to keep it simple, just so you can see. We're going to do a button. We're going to click. It creates it. 
we can then, you know, resize it. We can see the outline of what it's going to look like. We'll do that. I like that. And then we can move it. Okay, I want it right there. And look, there is our um, handler, as it's being called here, so our function. And so that's there. We can right-click, change the text. We'll keep it as okay. But let's go ahead and copy it. We're going to go ahead and paste it. Move that, kind of line it up. Obviously, I'm not trying to make this perfect uh, for you to do. Change text. Uh, we'll call it close. Boom. We got our close button right there. As you can see, we got them down here um, for OK and close. Uh, we can, uh, let's see, let's add an edit box. You know, maybe you need some input. Drag that to where you want it. Make it a little longer. Boom. Got all that in there. There's our edit right there in our function. And yeah, people can type here. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now you can sit here and copy and paste this code, put it into your IDE or your script, however you do that, and you're good to go. Now, something you will notice is that the window, when I click on here, it actually hides itself, it disappears. Um, so we just go up to here to sh show and hide preview and we got it back now if you're trying to line these up perfectly another thing you can do is you can go to uh, let me remember where this is uh, okay under options GUI designer snap to grid or show grid if we click show grid we get these little dots and that can help us with counting and making sure it is perfectly aligned so it looks very professional uh, you know and then you can go back to it and get rid of show to grid and then that's what the GUI is actually going to look like. Um, so it's nice to be able to switch back and forth. You can push execute. And obviously uh, that's the actual what it's going to look like. Uh, and it will have the functionality. But obviously there is no functionality here because I haven't added it yet. So that's fine. Um, another thing you can do is when you're down here is you can go ahead and actually code in here. This has a built-in IDE that is edible. Um, so that is very cool. And then just a quick rundown of some other options you might be interested in for such an intro video. Like I said, if you want me to do another dive into this a little deeper, let me know. Um, but we have right here convert to executable. So that's cool. We don't have to open the AHK interpreter executable uh, thing. Um, we can do it straight from here. And you just save it where you want. And I mean, look at this. There's just the amount of options are insane. They can be overwhelming. Obviously, a lot of these you probably don't need to use, but that's up to you. You can change the title of it. Obviously, it starts with window, my GUI. So we can change that um, and say show preview. And there's the title right there. It's now my GUI. So as you can see, it changed it here. My GUI, my GUI, my GUI, and so on. So yeah, this is very powerful. It does have some debug functionality where you can do start uh, debug, break, stop, all that. Um, like I said, I haven't even began to inspect all the options and play with them, uh, but I can. Um, so yeah, this is just an intro video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Uh, linking to where you can download this like I showed you at the beginning of the video and once again shout out to um, Sam Fisher IRL how to remember the name um, but yeah shout out to him great stuff I mean it's it's crazy some of the things I've seen on his github that he's done um, so he's knows what he's doing very well and is making some very universally wanted stuff that we all definitely are happy to use all right once again let me know what you guys think about this video and i will see you on the next one have a good day